I'm Jim with InStuffMusic.com, and I'm here today to do a demo of the Caldwell MC Custom 59 Tone Master. The Caldwell MC Custom No. 46 59 Tone Master, finished here in Cherry Sunburst. The neck is one piece, quarter sawn, genuine mahogany with an extended tenon, no scarf joint, 59 contour neck profile, 12 inch radius, 24 and 3 quarter inch scale, rosewood fingerboard, 22 Jess Carr medium jumbo frets, Graf Tech nut, and Godot Relic vintage tuners. The body is two piece center joint genuine mahogany with a nitrocellulose lacquer finish, Seymour Duncan whole lot of humbuckers in both the neck and bridge, independent volume and tone controls with push pull volumes for single coil and out of phase operation, Mallory tone caps, three way pickup selector switch, and Goto lightweight relic tailpiece. Finally, this guitar comes set up with 9 to 46 hybrid gauge strings. Get yours today at InStuffMusic.com and thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit like, leave a comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Okay, now we're back after the specs on the guitar. Before we begin today, let's take a quick look at the amp settings and how we're recording. I'm going through this reissued deluxe reverb. I've got the volume between four and five, the tone eh, almost at six, the bass at four, reverb from the amp right at about three. So, this may have a familiar shape, but this guitar here was built by a local Pittsburgh luthier, Michael Caldwell, master luthier. And this is a creation he calls the 59 Tone Master. So, we all know what these type of guitars are supposed to do, but I think a lot of the time, when you hear them, they don't quite do that. They fall short. The great examples of guitars like these have clarity, they have a chirp, they have a certain build quality and mojo. This guitar has all those things, plus it's got a really cool relic. Um, single piece neck. Just a guitar that makes you want to play it. So, no more chit-chatting. Let's hear it. It's got some cool features I'll get into in a minute. Let's listen to it clean, then dirty. All the guitars you heard at the beginning were this. Uh, I'm going through the aux. I was using a 412 cab in the beginning with a pur purple plexi. I was trying to kind of make it sound like it would sound through a, an old plexi. Uh, I have a more of a twin reverb thing happening now with a 57 and a 121 on the cab. So here it is in the neck, everything on 10. Turning the neck down about halfway. Middle, everything wide open. So, both these volumes are pulls, push pulls, I guess. Um, never think about going the other way. This guy puts it out of phase. You can do your Peter Green thing. Out of phase.
I got to kick on a little overdrive because to me, you don't really get the vibe of this fully unless you get a little drive going. So you get this. And then you can vary the sound like wildly with the volumes. half-cocked wah sound. It's awesome. Okay, let's continue. Bridge clean, wide open. Let's take the tone on to about six. This guy splits the bridge. So if you go back to the middle, then you can really do that thing. Which, a lot of guitars like this, if you try to do any kind of like R&B or funk, kind of turns into the, uh, like a mud fest because you don't get the snap. This guitar has the snap. Okay, let's do some drive sounds. I'm gonna switch my cab, go back to a 412, and we will do the faux Marshall thing with the purple plexi. Neck. Everything on 10. Volume off a bit. Tone down. Everything open.
This guitar has 9 to 46 hybrid strings, um, which I have learned. All those classic 70s records with Les Pauls. Those dudes all played nines. So you got that. It's very cool. Works on this guitar. They don't sound thin, they don't feel thin. They just feel great. Bridge, everything wide open. about halfway. Caldwell MC Custom 59 Tone Master.